Hey everybody, welcome back to Linux for Everyone, and welcome home. So the current uh, state of affairs in the world have made it challenging to summon up that, that, that positive mental energy that I need to create content nonstop, you know, content at Forbes, podcasts, videos, tweets, you name it. But the show must go on. And instead of a, you know, super produced, very tightly scripted video, what I wanted to do today is kind of give you an update on the channel and an update on Linux for everyone in general. And the goal here is to be a little more transparent about what's going on and hopefully get some feedback from you guys. When it comes to YouTube, I am very, very new at this and I've been kind of flying around like a chicken with its head cut off. Um, I'll, I'll just quickly get an idea in my head and I will just start shooting it, start producing it because I just want to put it out there. But I want to start thinking more long term. From the beginning, I've said that I want to build this channel up alongside you guys. And so that's what this update is kind of all about. It's checking in and it is soliciting feedback from you to make this thing more fun and better and more successful. Let me start with some numbers that make me incredibly excited. Uh, this channel, since the beginning of the year, since January 1st, 2020, has gained more than 4,500 subscribers and 200,000 views, which I think is phenomenal. It just blows my mind. That's in about three months. But when we start talking about revenue, well, since January 2020, I've released uh, about 35 videos and made $180 from Google AdSense. Let's say each video takes five hours to produce, which is probably on the shorter end of reality. When I do the math and I look at the number of videos versus the time invested, Google AdSense is paying me about $1 per hour. But if I sell one of these, one Linux for everyone coffee mug, that puts $5 in my pocket. It's pretty wild to think about that. Of the 35 or 40 videos that I've made this year, the bottom 30 have all made $5 or less, but one coffee mug puts $5 into the account. So I'm going to start uh, really driving home the merchandise because I think that is a, a crucial way to, to grow the channel as well. But what's happening outside of just this Linux for Everyone YouTube channel? Uh, there's quite a lot, and I want to start letting you in on some of that as well so that you can keep tabs and check out all the other stuff that's happening. Last month, we launched another brand in the Linux for Everyone umbrella, and that is called Make It Linux. It's starting out as a YouTube channel, and it's totally focused on marketing desktop Linux in a polished and professional way. Our first video, which is kind of a celebration of Linux gaming in 2020, is out there and I'll have a link in the description below so you can check it out. If you enjoy it, share it because that's that's the whole goal of this. It is bringing people into the fold and showing them how amazing Linux can be. And it's not just gonna be gaming, it's gonna be professional content production. It's going to be just looking at how easy it is to use a desktop. We've got some really talented people making videos about Ubuntu and all kinds of different stuff. So hopefully you guys uh, can take a minute to head over there to the Make It Linux YouTube channel. And if you have any ideas on how to effectively market Linux, I know that doesn't sound very fun, but I think it's kind of essential. So if you have any ideas on that front, let me know in the comments. This channel is of course also part of the broader Destination Linux network. And just today, we launched a new website called frontpagelinux.com. And this is a primarily text-based site. It's gonna be a steady stream of open source and Linux news, opinion pieces, uh, tutorials, a little bit of video content here and there, and also, it is the new destination for an excellent weekly magazine called Linux Plus Plus. You might have seen the creator of Linux Plus Plus on Rocco's Linux Spotlight recently. His name's Eric Londo, and he is a brilliant writer. And Linux Plus Plus is kind of like getting this condensed but really engaging and informative weekly magazine about Linux stuff. So uh, check it out, frontpagelinux.com. Okay, but let's bring it around back to this channel, and this is hopefully where you guys can be a huge, huge help. So my goals for the next three months, I, I wanna start putting out three videos per week 
not two videos and a podcast, but three actual produced videos per week. I've been struggling a little bit with this, um, trying to ramp things up, but sometimes it's it's a creator problem, I guess. it's uh, Maybe it's just a slight case of existential dread with everything happening in the world lately. I always get overly concerned with how polished it is and how professional it looks, but I want you guys to know I am working hard on this channel, and I really want to turn this into a full-time thing. But I don't want to sacrifice quality to do that. That being said, uh, I want to start digging into some more hardware as well. And I have a stack of it. Uh, I've been playing with the Kubuntu Focus laptop quite a bit, the Cosmo Communicator, which is kind of a updated version of the PDA. It's like a smartphone PDA with a slide out keyboard. And it also runs Debian as well as Android. I just started playing a little bit with the Huawei P40 Pro, and my goal there is uh, I, I want to de-Google my life a little bit. Frankly, the, the Huawei P40 Pro is kind of a, an accelerated gateway to doing that because it doesn't have any Google apps or any Google services. So I'm going to see how easy or how difficult it might be to use a phone like that, you know, a flagship Android phone that doesn't have Google services on it to de-Google my life. I've also been playing with a really small form factor PC called the LibreBox from LibreTrend in Portugal. And I know that not a lot of people have heard of this company, so I want to shed a little bit of light on them as well. And something else I've always been curious about since, uh, since getting into this whole Linux adventure of mine is external GPUs. How does an external GPU play on Linux? Uh, Gigabyte is sending over one of theirs for me to test out, and I'm going to couple that with one of the newer Dell XPS 13 developer editions and see if we can't turn that into a gaming beast by just plugging that thing in and going. The other thing that I want to touch on is I really want at least half of the content that goes live on this channel to reflect the name of this channel, Linux for Everyone. Videos that explain aspects of Linux in really simple language with kind of an exciting edge. Something that can draw new users into our amazing little world and educate them at the same time. But I don't want to alienate you guys in the process, you know, you guys who have been rocking Linux for five to 10 years. So it's a tricky balance. And I need to think carefully about that. And uh, as always, I really welcome your input. So you might see me experimenting with some themes. You might see me trying something like a, a series called Linux Gaming for Absolute Beginners, or hey, what makes this distro great? Or you might see me doing Let's Play videos, me throwing stuff against the wall and, and seeing what sticks and what resonates. So here are some things for you guys to think about, and I would love to hear from you in the comments. What do you think is lacking in the Linux YouTube space? What do you want to see more of? What have I done that you don't especially like? I want to hear that too. You know, constructive criticism is great and I'm open to it. There's a lot of Linux content out there already and I'm just trying to carve my own path and, and make things unique and make them engaging. Let me leave you guys with one final thought. The world is a strange place right now. No one has it easy. And I'm not going to diminish the struggles that everyone is going through right now, but speaking through my own filter, my own point of view, my own lens, it's tough to be a creator right now. If there's a creator out there who is helping you get through the day or who is providing value to you, let them know. I don't care if it's me, just let them know. Believe me, it makes a difference. And with that, I am going to get out of your hair. If you made it this far, you have my undying thanks. Don't forget to join our Telegram group. It's a really welcoming, awesome, fun place. And if you feel so inclined, buy some Linux for Everyone merch because it's pretty cool. And it really, really helps the channel out. I'll see you guys for the next video. And until then, take care. Take care of each other and stay home. See ya.